Hello everyone and welcome back to Canadian King Coins. In today's video I'm going to be unboxing this package I just received from Brian over at the Coin Group in Minnesota. I won the contents of this package in one of his great live streams a few days ago, although I'm not exactly sure what I won. So let's just get right into it. So here is the the number which I had to guess in order to win this package, 31. It's interesting he included this as well, that's a special keepsake right there to remember me of that live stream. And uh, here's the coin. If there's a letter here, or a letter. Alright, so what we've got first here, looks like a Canadian penny. Nineteen eighty four. Add that to my pile for sure. Next here we've got Kennedy half dollar. Ooh, the toning on this one is beautiful. Nineteen sixty four. Oh my goodness. That is my first silver half dollar. I do have a whole bunch of clad ones, but that is my first silver one. And it looks awesome. Oh my goodness, I gotta look at this here. What? Beautiful for sure. Next here we've got. Oh, I think I remember this from the live stream. This foreign coin here. One cent from Barbados. 1973. Look at that. Not too often you see a coin like that. And the last one looks like another Canadian penny. Let's see what year it is here. So it's a young head. 1964, the last year of the young heads. Look at that. So I've got a special bag full of all the young head pennies that I find in circulation or otherwise, so I'll stick that in there for sure. So we've got two Canadian pennies, one silver half dollar, obviously the big prize of the bunch, and this cool little foreign coin. I don't think I have a penny from Barbados. I do have a few other coins from Barbados, but I can add it in there. This stuff is awesome. But, I figured this would be a perfect video to show off some of my American currency. I picked out a few of my best items, but really I don't have that much overall anyway. So first I have this 1935 $1 silver certificate, although it's folded pretty badly. It's got a funny cut on the bottom too. I have two consecutive 2013 $1 star notes. I have no idea how rare these actually are, but I hear everyone talking about them all the time. And one of my favorites, a $2 bill from the 1928 series. I think it's in pretty good condition. The design of this is very nice, very ornate. As for the coins, I have these three Indian head pennies that I got at my last coin club meeting for $2. 1895, 97, and 98. I believe this is called a Standing Liberty Quarter, 1930.
And I'm not sure what this one is called. It's a quarter. 1897. I really like the design on this one, though. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing video. As well as me sharing off a bit of my American currency in my collection. I, of course, have to give a big shout out to the Coin Group of Minnesota for the awesome package and all the support he's given to me and the many other small coin channels, as he calls the underdogs. If you're watching this, you've probably already seen his channel, but if not, I highly recommend checking him out for everything you need to know about silver stacking. As he says, buy it, save it, search it, sell it, repeat. Okay, if you've enjoyed this video and like learning about Canadian coins, consider subscribing and check out some of the other videos on my channel. And as always, have a great day.